Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am going to share a gift that one of you guys sent to me and I am going to share some masks that I got from my dear friend Pam's daughter's Etsy shop. Uh, I always like to support, especially friends of mine who have little Etsy shops and things like that. I love to share things because, you know, all small businesses could use our help. And then I've got some questions to answer. Uh, also, I want to share with you our little time with our Maverick. I'll share that. I'll save that for the for the end. How about that? Uh, but anyway, let me start with uh, letting you know that if you see something in my eyes here this morning, I woke up with a, a very bad migraine this morning. Now I don't get many of them, so don't worry. I'll be fine. Uh, it, it, everything's fine. I, I've got it pretty much under control. It's right under the surface on the side of my head. Uh, and don't send me any suggestions about medications or anything like that. I have my way of dealing with my migraines and I, they aren't as bad as they used to be when I was younger. You guys, uh, menopause has helped to pretty much take them almost completely away, but I do, I do get one or two now and again. <laughs> so, uh, I woke up with one this morning, so it is, it is kind of bugging me. So, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know that just in case you saw something, you know, in my eyes and, you know, a lot of people can tell I have a migraine bite. My eyes look weak or whatever. My mom used to say that you have a migraine or then I know you do. And I was like, how did you know that mom? I can see it in your eyes, honey. She always used to say. So <laughs> here I go. <laughs> First off, let me say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful, sweet, kind, loving, precious comments that you gave me for my home tour, you guys. Oh my goodness. You guys are just the best, the best of the best. I appreciate every single word. I did try to respond for the first couple of hours that my uh, video was up, but then, you know, of course, Chris and I watched a movie that evening and, you know, we went to Mavericks yesterday, which I will share, as I said, I will share with you at the end of the video. But anyway, let's get started. So I'm not yammering along here because I do have a few questions to answer. So uh, Chris came walking in and this lady had, had gotten in touch with me via fe Facebook message, I believe, or yeah, Connie, I think you got in touch with me via Facebook. I'm actually gonna be cruising with this lovely lady uh, in 2022. And uh, she's been a long time subscriber, my long time subscriber. I just don't give my, e my address out to anybody, you guys. I need to really know you and uh, really have had conversations with you and know who you are. I know you guys all know me. You guys all know me, I'm an open book, but I don't, I try, try as I might, you guys, try as I might. I try to engage with everybody and, and, and keep names in my head and remember everything that everybody wrote, but I, uh, I'm human. <laughs> and as hard as I try, I sometimes can't. But Miss Connie, I know. And she wrote me a beautiful card. And I'm not going to share her words because they're her words to me privately. And uh, But they're beautiful words. But I wanted to show you this beautiful card. Look at the... Oh, does that not look like a good scene, you guys? The, uh, the beach chairs on a beach with a little bird. And your beach your basket with a with a book in it. Oh my goodness gracious, couldn't get better than that, huh? And how apropos that she sends me, she made these, I think. Uh, and it says, collect beautiful moments. Look at these books. And they look like they were real books that she, uh, that she painted and decorated up with twine and look at that. So you can be sure that I'll set those on a shelf somewhere absolutely beautiful connie i didn't get them until after i was done with my home tour honey or i would have incorporated them some way and then also i'm thinking she made these beautiful beads look at the gray blue gray one in in the midst of all the natural ones and the two beautiful tassels on the end look at that so i can just see myself tying this you know, around a lantern simply and just using this on a lantern. Wouldn't that be pretty? 
Uh, I'll find a place for this now, uh, today somewhere. I'll put it, I'll add it somewhere. So thank you. The books might be a little bit more difficult because I've got everything just so, you know. <laughs> But thank you so much, Connie. I love them. I will cherish them. And you can be sure I will put them to good use from now on. Thank you for the for thinking of me and for and for taking the time out to make me such a nice, beautiful gift. Thank you so much. Mwah. Alrighty, let me move on here to these masks. And I just wanted to show you how how she packages up these masks. She does a lovely job, you guys. And this is, I'm going to type up there, it's something travels, LLC, something like that. I can't remember the name of the Etsy shop. Oh, I'm so sorry. But this, uh, the little girl who makes these masks is my dear friend Pam's daughter. And she really does a good job. These have, as you know, Chris has made masks and his are wonderful. And as I said in my home tour, I've gotten them from Vera. And even after washing the, the masks, the Vera masks are still a little big for me. They still kind of slide up and down and whatnot. I have no idea if or when we will ever be able to stop wearing masks. Please don't get, let's not get into a conversation about mask wearing or not. Bottom line is right now we need to wear masks. So that's why I ordered some more. I also ordered some Easter ones. So let me look and show you these first. And she leaves the the elastic this is elastic and she leaves it untied so that you can tie it yourself and make them as big as you want i have found that to be a wonderful Easy. and wonderful. it makes it so much easier for me uh but here we go with one of her easter you know of course it's probably too e too late for y'all to order easter masks but i did get that it's really super cute and then Miles of Adventure LLC, that's her little name on Etsy. And of course, I'll leave you her, her information. This is the one she sent me as a little gift because I have, I have shouted her out and you guys have been so sweet to make orders from her. So, you know, I, can, I highly recommend, look at that, isn't that pretty? Her masks, did I show you the back of the Easter? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. And then I got these. Oh, so pretty. And they fit so nice. They do, they fit so nice. Look, this has purple on the back. Ah, I love that. And then this one. With pink. So pretty, so well made too. I got me a black and white, whoops, I pulled the uh, elastic out of this one. If that happens to you, all you need to do is get a little uh, safety pin and then just feed it through. You can get it right through, back through there really easy. Little black and white polka dots. That one just has a, um, what is that? Ooh, look at this fancy. It's kind of gray with kind of a sparkly. She knows me well. I don't know whether they're all the same on the back, whether she uses the same on the back or not. I don't know. And then one more, which I love this one. I think this is so pretty. And then we did the same. She did the same yellow or gold. But they are beautiful. Miles of Adventure, LLC. I highly recommend her. Highly, highly, highly recommend her. And as I said, she's a small business and her customer service is unsurpassed. Uh, she's a lovely, lovely lady. Lovely, lovely lady. Highly encourage if you are at all interested in getting some more masks for yourselves. So there we go. So those are the two things I wanted to show you, two different, more than two things, but two different things I wanted to talk to you about. So let me get my uh, questions up here. Where did they go? I just have them. All right, here we go. I have one, two who asked me the same question, three, and then I have like three or four questions here. So... The first two questions are similar, but I'll read both questions to you and then I'll answer, okay? Uh, first one is from Buffalo Check Chicks. <laughs> we can't wait to see everything come together. It's gonna be gorgeous. I'm talking about my home tour, I think. As everything you do, as is everything you do, all. Your home tour will be spectacular. Our question, your ideas, do you always come, do they always come out of your head or do you ever have to browse magazines or Pinterest to get ideas? 
For us, it is difficult to find fresh ideas. We try to make everything our own, but with all of the crafters, it's tough. That's partly the reason why we started the Arizona Adventures, just to do something a little different. Your bows are beautiful, LOL. We're practicing. Kathy and I love you to bits. Well, I love you girls to bits too. I still haven't gotten over you guys to see your Arizona Adventures video. I've been a little busy. <laughs> And uh, now I'm struggling with this dumb headache. So, you know, I will get over there and watch your Arizona Adventures. I think I saw something about wild horses. Y'all should go check them out. Buffalo Check Chicks. But that was their question. And then the next lady, Donna Lick... Oh, my goodness. Likelature? 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 Likelature. 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 Well, I know I butchered that. I'm sorry. But... Uh, also, she says, hi, Erlen. I have two questions. Where do you get your inspiration for your decor? Okay, I'm just going to answer that question along with the Buffalo Check Chicks. Uh, to be very honest with you, and I don't mean to say this in any way to make myself seem any way whatsoever, whatsoever, but I, most of my ideas come out of my head. Honestly, I will, I do watch other YouTubers for inspiration sometimes, but, uh, and sometimes I'll try like a craft that they've done or, you know, make a bow a certain way that they've made one or whatever, you know, I will try it. But mostly what I incorporate in my home is from my head. And I, I just come, and I can't explain how I come up with the ideas. What I will do sometimes is I'll go to Google Images. If I'm looking for, say, uh, you know, a grapevine wreath with uh, lamb's ear, let's just say, on it. You know, I might go to Google Images and look there and just to see some different you know, ways to do them. Although I end up doing them pretty much very similarly because I know what I like and I do what I like. So, you know, but most of the time I'm not a Pinterest peruser at all. I am on Pinterest, but I don't, and I don't even hardly do anything with my own Pinterest, which is bad of me. I should try to add some stuff over there. Uh, but honest to Pete, I don't, I don't. Unless I'm wanting to learn something, then I'll go to YouTube and I'll Google them or Google or YouTube them, YouTube search, you know, something if I want to learn how to do something, you know, so I don't know, yeah. <laughs> but that's where they come from. That's where my ideas come from. Pretty much my head. Uh, and then, uh, what other channel? And she said, uh, you've mentioned Liz and Bella. I also watch them here on YouTube. What other channels do you watch? The colors in the wreath and the lantern top are lovely and match your outfit beautifully. Oh, thank you so much. A lot of you mentioned that. <laughs> a lot of you mentioned that I matched my decor. I do, that is that is a conscious thing I, I try to do sometimes. And when I don't, I feel like odd that I haven't, you know, and I'll usually say, I don't match my decor today, you know, or something like that. But I usually try to, I don't know why. I'm anal retentive. I'm sorry, I'm weird. Uh, but here are some of the folks that I watch. Danielle, over there, Danielle's decor, of course. She's my sweet friend, Danielle. And Kim, over there, Sweet Daisy Creations. I watch her. She's my dear friend, too. And uh, Joseph Sink. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. C-I-N-Q-U-E. He is wonderful, very talented, super duper duper nice guy. And his wife, Marianne, does some cooking over there and they do hauls and they do uh, lovely, lovely, lovely work over there. Also, Susan's Cozy Condo Life. She's uh, they have Virginia Girl here. Jody at Southern Seasons, The Farmer and the Southern Bell, Style with Pat, Deco Easy, Acorn and Oak, formerly created home with G. Uh, my Feathered Nest, My Feathered Cottage with D, <laughs> The Thrill of the Thrift, and uh, some newer YouTubers are Buffalo Check Chicks, and a new one that I wanted to tell you about that's in my Facebook group, that uh, uh, Artistry and Music by Glenda Harvey. This lady plays a beautiful organ, piano, kind of, uh, I think it's a piano, but she can push all the buttons and give herself different sounds. I just broke a nail. Sorry, you guys. I don't know how I did that. Uh, but she is lovely, uh, and she sings, and she plays her piano, and she touches my heart 
all mostly all gospel and some of the old hymns, some new hymns. She is so entertaining and just a lovely, sweet soul inside and out. Check her out over there at uh, Artistry and Music by Glenda Harvey. Check her out. You will love her. I'm sure you will. So, but that's it. That, I mean, that's some of them. If I did not mention your name, please, please, please don't have your feelings hurt. Um, I, I have not had a chance to get around to all that I want to, I'm telling you, but, uh, I, I try my best. I try my best, you guys. Uh, I also wanted to mention there's one other lady that's here in Virginia that uh, her name is Secondhand Tracy Ann, and she's lovely and entertaining, and she does a lot of DIYs, and she does some some beautiful, uh, beautiful work over there. So please check her out, Secondhand Tracy Ann. <laughs> and if you do stop by any of these folks, let them know that I sent you, and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully uh, they will give you a big, rousing welcome for sure. Let me find my questions back here again. Okay, so that was like question number one and two. Um, here we go. The next one is from Diane Shepard. The lantern looks stunning. Love lantern swags, decorations. Love the ribbon combination and your wreath is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You create some beautiful wreaths. Are you going to make any on camera in the near future as your designs are unique? Thanks, Diane. Well, thank you so much, Diane. I, I said to you, and I said that I would answer this in person too, uh, but I, I hope to try to make a couple of wreaths. My daughters are, uh, you know, supposed to be, well, they've asked me to make them wreaths, but I have yet to find out what colors they want and if they want grapevine or if they want burlap or if they want deco mesh or what they want. So I'm waiting for them <laughs> to get back to me. Both are busy girls, of course. Uh, so... Remind me to come back. Not that you guys can remind me, but I want to come back and show you something that Chris made me over the weekend, you guys. Uh, those in my Facebook group know and on my Instagram know, but I wanted to tell you guys, for those of you who are not on those other platforms, I wanted to show you a picture and tell you what he got. Uh, but hopefully I will be able to make some more on camera coming, coming, going, moving forward. Uh, Diane, for sure, for sure. So I just don't know when they'll get back to me. <laughs> I don't have anything in mind to make for the house here. I already have a uh, already have a patriotic wreath, and I already have another wreath that I'll put up for summer, you know. So uh, and then I have my fall wreath, and you know, all of my wreaths are in pretty good shape. And I purged a lot. I'll get back to that in a second. So over the weekend. So okay. So there we go. Um, I hope to make some more for the two girls, but whenever they get back to me, <laughs> I might have to prod them a little bit. Okay, number four here. Uh, this is from Dixie Sutcliffe Folk. <laughs> uh, I think you might be a, either a new subbie or one that doesn't comment too much. I don't recognize your name so much. Thank you so much for commenting though and for asking the question. Uh, I love your home tours, absolutely stunning. How do you keep everything so clean? Have you ever talked about your cleaning schedule? <laughs> you keep everything so pristine. Would love to know how you keep that gorgeous, keep up that gorgeous home. Oh. Uh, I don't have a, a cleaning routine, to be honest with you. I used to when I was younger and I, I was more scheduled in my day, you know. But I don't for this house. It's just the two of us kind of stumbling around in here now. I don't even have any more dogs, which just, which did make more work for me. I will admit we had two Newfoundland dogs and a golden retriever who, you know, left half their coats on the floor, you know, every other day. I literally had to vacuum probably every third day when I had, sometimes every day, depending on if people were coming over or whatever with those dogs, when they blew their, when they blew their coat, you know, they blew their coat, the Newfs blew their coat twice a year. Gracie, it seemed like she shed all like all through the year, <laughs> but the Newfs would stop shedding after a while. And then they build up their coat in the winter time and then shed it like crazy. Oh, in the spring. Oh my goodness gracious. It was, it was quite the, and I would brush them every day. Those Newfs got a brush over them every day. You guys, I'm not even kidding you. And Gracie did. But since we don't have the dogs anymore, that has really cut down on the dog hair. And I never realized that we had had, I had had dogs my whole life. You, literally my whole life, you guys, except for like years I was in college between when I graduated from high school and when I 
uh, met Chris and moved down here. That was the only time in my life I never had dogs. And I've, I never realized that they do cause work, housework, which I never minded, but they do. Dust wise, I don't, it doesn't get too, too dusty. Uh, we do have the uh, air purifiers that we use throughout the house and they do help. They are linked in my Amazon shop if anybody is interested. Uh, so I really don't have a schedule. If I see something that needs to be dusted, I dust. If we need to vacuum, I do not vacuum because I have a kind of a wonky hip on me right now, Chris vacuums, or we have, we do have a, a Roomba that we use too. So, but uh, of course I go through the, go over the toilets probably two, three times a week and sinks and the bathrooms two or three times a week. Usually I keep all that very clean. I'm, I'm a clean freak, I really am. Well, as if y'all couldn't tell that. <laughs> with the way I, I am uh, with me physically and in our house too. I'm just, I'm a very anal, I need to relax y'all. I need to figure out how to relax. <laughs> I don't, I don't do a very good job at that. I really don't, so. But anyway, that's all my questions. Hope that answered your question, uh, girly Dixie. I think it might be Dixie. I don't know whether that's a combination of your husband and your name or if your name is Dixie. I don't know. So, but anyway, that's all the questions that I had. And, uh, but let me tell you what Chris made me over the weekend and then I'll tell you about our time with Maverick. Uh, I had been asking Chris to make me, I might have even mentioned it a couple times here on my channel. I, I can't remember. Uh, but I've been asking him to send, to make me a roll cart for, to put my wreaths on. Years ago, he made my mom and dad a clothes rack for them to sit in their basement. And my mom had asked him to do it because to hold all their extra coats. They had a bunch of coats. My dad was a golf, <laughs> played in a lot of golf tournaments and he was always winning jackets and coats and shirts. Always. He, he won a lot of golf, you know, pro-ams and he was the amateur, believe it or not. Uh, and he had a lot of shirts and stuff, you know, plus she had a lot of clothes too. Both of them were clothes horses and they would change out their clothes for the seasons, you know, and she wanted somewhere to put her seasonal clothes and extra coats and whatnots. So Chris made them this big long rack with a big dowel and, you know, uh, anchored it in the middle. This was years ago, years ago, probably 30 years ago, he made that for them. And, you know, they really utilized that in their basement years and years for years and years. So I said something similar like that for my wreaths. And, and I said with, with hooks in it, you know, so that we can hang the wreaths on them. All of a sudden I hear him downstairs. I said, banging and what? I said, what are you doing? He says, I'm making you your wreath rack. I was like, oh, you are. Yay. <laughs> so this is what he made. Oh my goodness, huh? There it is sitting in a shop. And then here it is after uh, he added all the wreaths. Actually, he did that while I was up here doing my home tour. Uh, editing my home tour and he was down there working on that you guys and I was like you have got to be kidding me this has solved my wreath problem you know and I purged a ton of wreaths I probably purged seven or eight wreaths that were just decrepit I still have a few more than I need to purge and I even purged one that was hanging on the rack in the picture there I even purged one of those so uh, I'm, I'm, I am really serious about purging the stuff in the basement. I really am. And that is probably what I'm going to come back with a couple of, of, of uh, you know, me going through, I think I had said my red and white gingham bins and my pioneer women bin, woman bins at least. Uh, and I'm going to be purging a lot. I'm going to be, I want to take the, the number of bins that I have downstairs down ext uh, an extreme amount. I've already gone through a couple of shelves down there and gotten rid of a bunch of stuff, but I am serious about getting downsizing that, my stuff down there. I don't need it. I don't want to use it. Since I went to the blue and white, I don't need as much, uh, most definitely. So... Christmas I probably won't touch until I get it down next year and, and I go through that. And fall I probably won't touch until I get that out because both of those series are big, you know, and I have a lot of bends for both of them. But my spring stuff, I might go through that, the rest of my spring bends and Pioneer Woman and Red and White Gingham at least. And then I do have a few bends of Primitive Country that I don't think I want to go through. I think 
I had gone through that when I did that decor. I did a whole Primitive Country series after Christmas one year, and I really purged a lot of stuff then. So what I have is what I want to keep, I think, for that. Well, now let me tell you about our time with Maverick. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, he's so cute. I'm telling you, he is he is the sweet. I'm not going to cry. Dang on it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Ah. We walked in and I had gotten him the little chair that has Maverick written on the on it. And it's just a chair big enough for him. And he climbs up in the chair and he'll sit in the chair. He'll climb up and he'll stand up at the, they have a window seat that Chris made them, you know. So he'll stand up there. And uh, he was laying in his seat in his chair with his head on one armrest, here's a picture, and his feet coming out the other. And he had his, was holding his own bottle. He's such a big boy now, holding his own bottle. And it started also drinking out of a sippy cup, you know, he's, and he's about walking. I'm telling you, he is about walking. I can't even believe it. And uh, I, I tell you, if we had let him go, he can, if you, he can just stand by himself, pretty much, you know, crawling like the wind, perpetual motion, perpetual talk, 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 like his grandma, <laughs> bless his heart, you know, but he is amazing, such a pleasure. Chris gets the biggest smiles, and I told Candace, I said, you've never quite seen your daddy like that, have you, and she was like, no, I haven't, I could tell by the look on her face, it was like so sweet, so loving, like, wow, look at dad looking at my baby, you know. There's something very special about being a grandparent, and y'all told me, and I believed you. I mean, I, the one that I didn't believe you, but until you feel it, oh, it's an amazing feeling. I feel so lucky and blessed that I'm able to be here on this earth to watch that little baby grow. You know, I, I'm, I'm just so blessed to be able to do that and to watch him and to love up on him and to feel his cuddles, you know, and his, he is such a warm personality, just a warm little baby, you know. But anyway, we had a wonderful time, as you saw by the pictures, just a wonderful time, you know. So, uh, but that's it, you guys. That's about all I have for you today. Uh, this headache is really kind of uh, giving me fits. I'm hoping I'm able to get this edited and get it up this evening and I'm going to keep taking what I do you guys for my for my migraines is I take I take Advil I take ibuprofen I start out with two and every four hours I add two and it's cumulative and usually within 12 to 24 hours I have it under control I do not want to take prescription medications again I ask you don't don't give me suggestions or anything on that I have dealt with my migraines through the last however many years and that's how you know, and I don't get hardly any anymore. As you all have seen, I haven't had one in a while, you know, but now it's like right there. Uh, I'm not sure how many times I'll be back this week. Uh, Chris and I decided that I probably need to rest for a few days. I'm, I'm super tired. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why the headache hit me. I, I, I think the reason my headache hit me is because I finished my, my series, my decorating series. And I finished my home tour and I got it up and then we went to see Maverick and I was all excited about all of that. And then bang, you know, I'm done with everything. And then, you know, my body started to, to relax a little bit and I got the headache, you know, so that's usually the way they hit me. So he said to me as we were coming home today from lunch, he said, honey, he said, why don't you take just a few days off? You know, and I said, I, I think that would be a good idea. So I think I might try to take at least, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe come back Friday. Uh, but you guys, I, I think I need a little bit of rest and that's okay to admit that, right? <laughs> I don't know that I can stand to be away from you for that long, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So if you don't see something from me on Wednesday, you'll know that I'm resting and that all is well, <laughs> you know, but I may come back with something I don't know if I get downstairs and get to organize it, you know. But that'll be it, you guys. I think that's it for today. So uh, I hope everybody had a great weekend. And I hope that you guys are, are gearing up to have, uh, be able to see some family over Easter. You know, I'm hoping we are. I've got my dad and 
uh, Kristen and Candace and Dustin and Maverick all coming here and we're going to have uh, my dad's bringing crab cakes and uh, uh, we're making shrimp and Candace's green beans and uh, and I said, Candace, we'll make your green beans. And how about you bring a dip? And so she'll probably bring a dip, but I might ask Kristen to bring dessert. You know, I'm not sure. So we got that in the works, though, you know, for for Easter. So hopefully you guys are geared up for, for to do something special, uh, you know, with your friends and family for Easter. So, but anyway, I'm going to hush because I would just keep talking and talking and talking. So let me go into my final words and say, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.